Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss a very important and conceptual problem from a domain of functions, right? So we, are, so we have already discussed a lot of problems in our uh, previous videos uh, regarding the uh, domain of functions. So here uh, once again uh, we are going to solve or to find the uh, domain of an important function uh, which is the sum of uh, two functions, right? So here we have the function f of x that is equal to uh, 1 over mod of x minus 2 plus sine inverse x minus 3 divided by square root of 5 minus x square, right? So here uh, we'll find out the uh, domain of this function f of x uh, by using uh, different concepts, right? So let us start. So now uh, let us first consider uh, this function, right? And let us call this function as g of x. So here we have 1 over mod of x minus 2, right? Now see here in the denominator we have mod of x minus 2 and we can uh, very clearly uh, see that uh, for x is equal to 2, uh, this function uh, g of x is not defined, right? So here x is equal to 2 uh, uh, is not uh, admissible because the g of x becomes undefined, right? So the domain of uh, this function g of x is the set of all real numbers uh, excluding uh, this number uh, that is 2, right? Because when we take x is equal to 2 in the denominator, uh, then uh, g of 2 becomes 1 over uh, mod of 2 minus 2. So this is 1 over mod of 0, that is 1 over 0, which is uh, not defined, right? So the domain of this function g of x is r minus uh, this number that is 2. Right. So now let us uh, consider this function. So now let us first consider the uh, numerator that is uh, sine inverse uh, x minus 3. Right. Now see from inverse trigonometric functions we know that the range of sine inverse theta uh, belongs to the interval that is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 when uh, theta uh, lies between minus 1 and 1, right? So here, uh, sine inverse x minus 3 uh, is valid when this x minus 3, because theta is x minus 3, right? So when x minus 3, it lies between minus 1 and 1, right? So we have an important inequality here. So let us solve this inequality by adding 3 uh, throughout. So we have minus 1 plus 3. Then here we have x minus 3 plus 3. And then we have 1 plus 3. Right. So this is 3 minus 1, 2. And here we have x and here we have 4. Right. So when x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than or equal to 4 then uh, sine inverse x minus 3 is defined, right? So here we have the values of x in the interval that is 2 to 4, where 2 and 4 uh, both are uh, included, right? So here, uh, first of all, we are uh, considering the separate uh, domains of these functions and then we'll combine all the domains uh, to get the domain of this function f of x. So now we have here the interval that is uh, 2 to uh, 4, right? So now consider uh, this function that is 1 over square root of 5 minus x square, right? Now here uh, we have square root of 5 minus x square in the denominator. So this number uh, 5 minus x square uh, cannot be equal to 0, right? Because when 5 minus x square is equal to 0, then uh, this term is uh, not defined, right? So our uh, this number that is uh, 5 minus x square should be greater than 0, right? 
So now we should have 5 minus x square greater than 0 because inside the radical sign that is the square root sign we cannot have a negative number right because the square root of a negative number is not defined in the set of real numbers. So we have to take the uh, take only the real number so 5 minus x square should be greater than 0. So let us solve this uh, inequality so we have minus x square and we can take 5 to the uh, right hand side so we have 0 minus 5 so we have minus x square greater than minus 5 let us multiply both sides by minus 1 so we have x square the direction of the inequality get reversed here we have 5 because this minus and this minus becomes plus so we have x square less than the uh, square of square root of 5 right now here I will make use of one important result if we have x square less than say a square then the value of x lies between minus a and a right. So here uh, the value of a is square root of 5 so utilizing this result the solution of this inequality is minus root 5 less than x and here we have square root of 5. So now uh, we have the third domain so here we have a square root of 5 and here we have x and here we have square root of 5 right. So now we have these three uh, domains right and now we'll merge together uh, these three domains to get the domain of f of x right. So in fact we have to find out the intersection of these three domains to get the domain of f of x. So let us first uh, plot these uh, domains or represent these domains on the real number line uh, to get a clear picture, right? So let us uh, uh, draw the real number line. So here we have minus infinity, here we have plus infinity and then let us take the numbers here 0, minus 1, minus 2 and here we can take minus 3 and then we have here uh, plus 1 then here we have plus 2 and here we have plus 3 and here we have plus 4 right so now let us first take this one right so here uh, we have seen that uh, the domain of g of x is r minus 2 so here uh, we have the uh, entire uh, real number line uh, except this number that is 2 right so here I uh, will make a circle to represent the fact that this 2 is not included right now let us consider this one so here we have the interval from 2 to 4 so here we have 2 and here we have 4 so let us uh, uh, draw a line like this and here uh, we can uh, here we have a bold circle that is a dark circle uh, including uh, or suggesting that uh, these two points that is 2 and 4 are included. Now let us consider this one and here uh, we can see that we have a square root of 5 and we know that the square root of 5 it lies between uh, 2 and 3 so we have minus square root of 5 uh, somewhere here right so here we have uh, that is minus square root of 5 so here we can write it and then we have uh, that is positive square root of 5 and it lies somewhere here right so we can now write or we can draw the line like this here we have uh, square root of 5 this is a square root of 5 this is minus square root of 5 and we have a line like this right so now we have represented these three domains on the real number line and now we have to identify the common region or the common values of x which satisfy uh, the, um, the function f of x so here uh, one thing is important that is a minus square root of 5 and square root of 5 are not included uh, that's why we have drawn 
a circle over here right so now uh, from this figure we can easily see that the common region is from uh, 2 to square root of 5 right because see uh, here uh, this 2 is not included and this is this point is square root of uh, 5 and here we have minus of square root of 5 so the common region is this region right that is from 2 to square root of 5 right so this is the interval that is from 2 to square root of 5 because here we have uh, 2 and this number is the positive square root of 5 so this portion is the only portion which is common among all these three uh, domains and remember see here a 2 is not included so that's why we have uh, here an open interval from the left and here we have a square root of 5 because uh, square root of 5 is not included here that's why we have uh, an open interval uh, from the uh, right so the common region among all these three domains is this set that is from 2 to square root of 5 because here we have square root of 5 and this is our 2 right so this is the only portion or the region which is common among these three domains so the domain of this function f of x is given by this interval which is open from both the ends that is 2 and square root of 5 are not included right so viewers this is how uh, we can find out the domain of functions